Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video. Yes, I've got a happy mail to share with you, um, which is really nice. It's Saturday morning here. The Reeves brought the happy mail home last night, but I went to bed early because I was extremely tired. After doing the market Sunday and a really busy week at work, um, I just can stay awake. So I've left it till this morning to open. So here it is. Da -dum, da -dum. I got this big back of Happy Mail. And yes, my post box is on the front. Doesn't matter. It's on my YouTube channel. Um, from Raylene. Raylene is a subscriber to the channel. And she was one of the prize winners in Scrap Timber, the mini make along. So um, I was really surprised when she sent me a message saying that she had sent some Happy Mail. And, and I wasn't expecting anything as big as this. So I've opened it because I've dug out the card so I could read the card. It has the most beautiful rose on the front. Who does not love that? That is beautiful. Um, hi, Judy. Thank you for your giveaways. I've sent you a little something. I think it's your turn to receive. Hope you enjoy your happy mail. Kind regards, Raylene. Isn't that lovely? That is so sweet. Oh, I'm just blown away. So, what I had noticed when I opened it, da -dun, da -dun, cocoon yarn. Now, I've been using this in a um, make-along cocoon yarn, but I had trouble getting colours here. So Cocoon Yarn is a Spotlight Anti-Pilling 8 Ply, which is one of our stores. Um, they're 50 gram balls made in Turkey. It recommends a 4mm knitting needle size and there's 125 meters in a ball. And she has sent me, wow, like I have lavender, but I've never had this color. And the blue, I haven't had that. Wow. We don't get it in black. There's black. Another green. And I have had the burgundy. So, oh, another lavender. This is awesome. I'll just pause the video and before I progress any further with the Happy Mail, I'll show you what I mean. So back again. Karen Wright um, recommended a make-along. It is called the Mix Tape Cow with Hobby craft and zine and rogers and i did check it out and start it now they have a bundle they sell of 12 yarns but i wanted to use the cocoon yarns because i had six thinking i could get six other colors and i couldn't here we're a small regional area even though Kansas is quite big and these were the six colors i could get and that's why i'm excited to get colors i haven't had and i have started the mixed tape make along cow I'll just hold it that way now look I have only just finished a week two and I am doing it very different to the way they are recommending just so I can work I've got like the burgundy this peach I kind of remember juju or something they call that orange brown the gold another different orange and then more orange so I thought I would do the mixed tape cow in um, these colorways and it is a cocoon yarn it is lovely and soft it's easy to work with if i slow down if i go too fast i tend to split it so it does teach me to go slower and the mixed tape cowl has taught me some new um, tips and tricks and that's why i did start late and i'm only up to week two i had trouble um, they do quite a large blanket and I had trouble deciding on a size. So it's 36 plus one and I couldn't work out. I did a few different trials with a four millimeter hook and they were either too small or too big. I know I did 145 stitches at a four millimeter hook and it just was working out too big because I like to make them the size I can donate to charity the local charity they want them by 80 centimeters by 80 centimeters or 100 centimeters by 100 centimeters i finally decided on 145 but using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook 
I don't like to do a lot of joins mid row. This is supposed to be alternating colors. I like to keep my joins on the end because for a charity blanket, I'll do a closed in border and all the ends will be under the closed in border. But that's what I'm using Cocoon yarn for. And that's why I am so excited to get these different colors from Raylene. So that is not all that's in this happy mail. Da -dum, da -dum. Caramel Tim Tams. They would be my favorite Tim Tam. Anything with caramel in, I love it. So I have a packet of those for the weekend. Yum. Cherry Rides. Now, my eldest son in the middle of the week on the 13th of October, it was his birthday. He's in London. He loves cherry ripes. They're really hard to get overseas. And yes, I like cherry ripes. So does Reeves. So I may have to share these on the weekend with Reeves. Um, Thing likes them, but he's because of his doctor's orders, he's got to be really careful of things that cause him reflux because that's what's stealing his voice, would you believe? We discovered nothing serious other than reflux is killing his vocal cords. So yes. So there you go, Cherry Rites, Tim Tams, and there's more. Da -dum, da -dum. Wow. Tea towels, Christmas tea towels. Oh wow, look at that one with the reindeer. Oh, oh, look. We woof you a Merry Christmas, that one. And it's got the, oh, these are awesome. Eat, drink, and be merry. Oh, wow. The Santa ones. What's this one? Jingle, mingle. Oh, I love them. Aren't they gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. Raylene, you went overboard. I really appreciate it. I love it. I love these heat towels. They are just awesome. And all this cocoon yarn, it's just, it's great to get other colours. It's a difficult living in a regional area because they do, they can only ship and store so much. I'll just pause the video and put some of this away. Back again. Raylene, thank you so much. You didn't have to do that, but it is much appreciated, especially when I get yarn. I really like um so what's your favorite yarn brand like do you everybody out there do you like lion brand or for me I really my number one favorite is premier anti-pilling yarn I love it but this is becoming a close second the cocoon because it it is so soft and it works up lovely and it does teach me to slow down so yes I do love the cocoon yarn um, so yeah, leave a comment below what brand or what one yarn do you particularly like or is there more than one? I'm really interested because it's quite interesting to hear like Crystal from Bagaday likes roving yarn and um, someone else like super bulky. It's interesting to find out what people really like. So yes, I did the markets on Sunday. It was a good sales day not a record day but a very good sales day and I had a lot of fun the funny thing is it was extremely hot like today like today's going to be about 34 Celsius and 90% humidity and we would have been that hot last Sunday drunk heaps of water but would you believe I sold blankets and ponchos and it was just yeah, Australia Post have advised if you want to send gifts overseas, get them away early. And people were buying gifts for the Northern Hemisphere. So that's why I sold some ponchos and blankets. Loveys. Oh, the loveys. The little the one little girl couldn't decide. She took about half an hour. I want the panda. No, I want the moose. No, I want the rabbit. No, I want the elephant. She just, and her mum said, just big one but yes we are, I love I love when I do the markets I love doing it it's just getting up and setting up by 6 a.m b 
being ready to go for 8 and most people turn up before 8am and working through to 1. Now, Thing helps me set up and then he comes home, looks after the dog and does different things and then he comes back about 11 o'clock or 10.30 and gives me a break. I go for a bit of a wander, have a coffee, come back and then he goes home, does some more things and then he comes back at 1 o'clock and helps me pack up. And that's why he's thing. He's my helping hands. And I couldn't do it without him. And I have done it when he's been overseas with Reeves. Reeves will step up to the plate, even though he's not an early morning riser. So, yeah, I do enjoy the markers and I do enjoy it when I make some profit. So I did say my net profit, I'll probably save it for charities fundraising for Christmas. But something happened this week and it being Pink October here, uh, making it Breast Cancer Awareness Month, um, I decided this month's net profit I would donate to a local charity called Couch. I'll read you a bit about them. Um, Couch is a wellness centre. It was helped set up by um, local and federal government funding. Um, it's a local charity supporting local people and providing real out um, real care for those striving to make a to make a difference in the lives of those people affected by cancer. Now, Couch means Cairns Organisation United for Cancer Health. Couch was established in 2006 by Charles and Pip Woodward. Now, these are two people that are members and um, benefactors to the charity I work for. Charles died of bowel cancer about six months before the wellness centre was finished. And Pip is the loveliest person. They are um, involved in the tourism industry here. And yes, they've been effect affected badly by COVID, but they're still strong supporters of the community and always doing things for Couch, the Liz Plummer Centre, the Wellness Centre. And that's why I decided, um, being Breast Cancer Awareness Month and Pink October here, I would donate my net profit to Couch, a local charity. So having said that, what will I make for the next market? Because I have booked, or Suzette's asked me to book for November and December. I just dropped something. Sorry, guys. So, of course, I sold lots of tea towels with tea towel toppers. And I have made a couple this week, starting with my Christmas ones couple of Christmassy ones and then the standard one. They're the three I've made this week. This, um, I've changed the topping of top, the way I do with the top a bit. See, I've made it a bit fancier with the edging. Um, I saw this at a market in Yapoon. A lady did her tea towels like this and I thought, oh, it looks really pretty. So yes, I've started making more tea towel toppers because I can sell out of those every market. And I think last November I sold about 31. Lovies have been really popular. And the only thing was I got asked for smaller ones, like little ones. So I don't know. I thought I had done all the toys I had. But I was cleaning up and I found some small toys. Like I've got the penguin and the little Christmas teddy bear. And I found this one. And I've made this little lovey. I've made it really big and wavy so it looks a little different and I'll probably do lovies for those two for the next market. Um, during my lunch hour and sitting around waiting for things at work I made scrunchy and I'll probably do more scrunchies but I'm looking for ideas for the markets. Now remember it's the tropics and it's extremely hot. I have thought because like I've sold a few different ones of these I've made over the past as beach cover-ups but I thought I might do a full beach cotton cover-up and see how that goes but guys if you have any ideas of what I can make to sell at the markets um, that's fairly quick because I've only got three weeks so I've already it's a four week turnaround and um, please leave your comments in the description below it would be really appreciated I'm a bit brain dead because work is extremely busy we go into um, our scholarship uh, period where all the applications start pouring in the scholarships and inquiries and there's a lot of running around um what else have i got 
so that's pretty much it this weekend um, because I am tired I'm going to take it fairly easy just do a bit of housework and I have some cows to catch up on for example I do have um, I think they're up to about week four on the mixed tape cow so I have to catch up on that I've done Nan's next knots for this week. My colour was C, um, the colour of the C, a number eight. And I yet to have to get finished um, Zeta's calendar cow, the cow I've picked for that. So if I do any crafting, it'll be that. But what I've also been planning to do is I have done some projects with yarn that was gifted to me. And I've either made them for me or for someone special. And I might do a video on projects I have finished using gifted yarn, such as Raylene's Cocoon yarn. So, guys, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed my week. I will try and upload this, but it probably won't get uploaded until Sunday. We're having real internet issues. We had our first big wet season thunderstorm last night. Saxon was freaking out it was his first thunderstorm um, if we find that they really upset him I will buy him a thunder vest which is supposed to help anyway until next time take care stay safe stay well and remember life's an adventure and you can have one yarny adventure using cocoon yarn thanks so much Raylene bye for now